after a week in New York City, we are back in business. These disgusting electrics. I hate them. So I missed the previous 93. Um, couldn't get off at Waterloo. I could have made that other 93 though. If um, stupid SL6 decided not to surf Waterloo Station. And for some reason, here's the explanation I got. Apparently the SL6 don't surf Waterloo Station. It's it was clearly marked on the bus stop, and there's my bus up there, and it's a 493. Will he surf, though, is the question. I mean, it's a single-decker route, so chance that I probably will. I mean, he is the alter... They are the alternative of the 200 at the minute, so... Yeah. And yes, I have complained to TFL about the SL6, because... Why should I let him get away with it? I think it's an SN12, well it looks like one, but he's going quite slow.
Here we go, he's stopping like he should be. And I guarantee no one's gonna get on it. Oh, someone is getting on. <laughs> they would have all waited for the 93 normally. Oh. oh, 131, 57, or even a 493. Surprised people even know that was 493, even though it's a single decker. And there's a 131 up there. What this bus uh, technically should be, or the route it's currently doing. Oh, it's a WHV as well. Even nicer. And you know what's funny though, I got on it, first stop was literally to Lamberton Road. But here's the thing, it's not able to serve Lamberton Road because here's the main reason. It is because the main reason is, is because it is a, um, it's because it's a, um, yeah, what a dickhead, yeah? Where the hell did you learn to drive? There's clearly a bus there. Literally said Lamberton Road as the first stop, and now I know it can't serve because Lamberton Road is actually a bus stand, not a bus stop. Although people do actually board there, because I've got I've got on at that stop before. I'll tell you something: I always board at that stop when I get the two hundred, or I just sit at that stop here, Range Park Station, or I go round to the Methodist Church because then I can get on before it gets crowded. But, at the minute, I can do it quicker and jump on over there at Rains Park Station because this main reason being is obviously because of um, the current road closure with Wimbledon Hill Road. Now, I think with this situation, I think they're going to serve regardless anyway because they know, I think they know that 200 hasn't got a service. So I think they'll just serve anyway. That's what I've realised with this current diversion that's going on. Because I know normally you get a few that didn't want to start, don't want to stop. Because I know the 131 fails to stop at um, bus stops um, when it was uh, Burlington Road was closed. <laughs> I had assumed they'd be going to Wimbledon Village. Probably getting off at the Ridgeway or something. I don't know why. Oh no. The blue one. E E E two four five, so it said G E. There's a four nine three. Making an unscheduled stop. <laughs> or not. Probably because no one wanted to get on, but that's just how Merton are, I guess. Well, apart from 131. Well, one driver only on the 131 at least, but... Did you really have to get in the way? And here comes the blue one. The celeb of the day. Looking terrible as ever. Joking about that one, well... All electrics on go ahead of crap with the um, future spec. I didn't even check what bus there's a bus behind, but there you go, that 200 just showed up. And there's another 200. Now I could have gotten that 57, but I don't want to.
and I've already been on the blue one anyway. Well, E244, not this one. Man. At least 93 has got good drivers though. I'll, I'll admit. Oh. And we've got another one right behind it. I'd expect to end up on a Gemini 2 though. At this rate, on the 131. Everyone's probably looking at the uh, um, bus stop looking for a timetable when there isn't one because they're on diversion is the reason. This one has no iBus at all. And this one's still got Wimbledon Hill Road. I mean, to be honest, all of them's got Wimbledon Hill Road. But yeah. Oh, and there's my bus there. And of course, it's a Gemini 2. The price I haven't ended up on an electric. Naughty, naughty. Oh. Now, trust me. I'm pretty sure they've been told that they have to serve on this diversion because of the 200 partly not running. And obviously, the section between Wimbledon Village and um, and there's my bus coming. Look, this is how good Sutton are, yeah?
make it forever to get out. I tell you. First night free, just curtailed. Um, yeah, it's been a little bit of a nightmare, so just getting out. So fingers crossed. Um, that next bus won't take forever, or won't curtail like my bloody 93 did terminated at um, Tibbetts Corner. Um, it's ridiculous. TFL are honestly so shit, like... Curtailing a bus. Probably just for, for being late. Stupid. It's really stupid. But... Uh, oh, for God's sake. Now the rail replacement is here. So that means I'm gonna have to wait like five years for the next one. Where does it stop though? That's the question.
that was actually the bus I was on on the way. Um, and I saw that 104, I was like, I got off um, and caught it behind. So now I've got to pay the most expensive ticket from High Wycombe to London ever. <laughs> Literally. Because obviously, 16 now, I can't pay the child fare. Although, although legally, you're actually not classified as an adult to your rating, but then all. So I personally, I think it's stupid you have to pay adult fares when you're not legally classed as an adult yet. Honestly, British, British Rail is a scam, you know. stand in the road to hail a bus and I'm still waiting for a district line not the train the bus the replacement service the DL5 but for some reason it doesn't want to come and I know for a fact it's not that H3 up there because by the looks of it that one is a crime scene because um, old building, so. yeah, and I'm not making my way to Waterloo, no chance. Wow, just wow. All right, the district line. District lines are madder when it comes to rail replacements, literally. Well, more like a Riva. Literally, that both rail replacements I got today, one going to Ells Court, one going back to Wimbledon. Um, the Ells Court one was this morning. Both those rail replacements literally were stopping it every single bloody bus stop, man. Literally, they were both serving every single bus stop and along the route, and I was like, you're a rail replacement bus, so why are you stopping at every single bus stop? The point of a replacement bus service is, they are not to serve every single bus stop, they're supposed to serve train stations and train stations only. Not in this case, tube stations, but you know what I mean. And yes, I'm going to get this 57 because I am not bloody Q jumper I was here before you but yeah I got a Q jump you're not Q jumping on me but yeah Got 21 at the front and a 141 behind. And you know what? I want to get the 141. Well, this Boris bus might get in my way there.
sake. Whoever runs the bloody 159, bloody hell. Who bloody trains these drivers? And the fact is, someone wanted to get off that bus as well. Well, because these stupid drivers want to go fast. But then they'll be laughing when they got done for speeding, innit? Oh, no. You know what? I can't be bothered to complain to TFL because. Because it's going to keep happening. And now I know someone who's complaining on them. Um, but bus they don't stop about 50 times but I don't think I need to break that record although I've got evidence but but wait TFL always advertised that buses will stop on the diversion so he's broken TFL's orders like now I know it's happened on the 159 before I've only actually managed to get a 159 to stop once actually so as long as we can get the 12 to stop, because there's a 12 due in a few minutes, um, then that'll be okay. I know it doesn't say it on the bus stop, but it's a diverted bus, so technically it has to stop. So, oh, National Express up there. And this really good. But, you just have to get, you can't get your hopes up because quite a lot of these, uh, Battersea drivers are ignorant to say they are doing the 159 run. But here comes the good route, the 453. Literally, the 159 is the Abelio, well, it's the Transport UK version of the 26. Four, three. And I'm still waiting for the 159, but well, 12, that should be round the corner. I mean, they follow the same route, so it's not a big deal. And we've got a Scania Omni City over there on the red route. I know I don't feel like getting on it. Although it probably would serve me. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, look, we've got another Westway coach. I heard uh, Manchester <laughs> V Network literally copies TFL style. So that's very interesting to see. And there's a National Express up there, which is not coming on Waterloo Bridge, but I've got to get a shot of it anyway. I definitely will try and get a National Express in the next few weeks. Um, So yeah, I'll, I'll do my best. The refurbished one, the Boris Master. Sorry, that one, that was sorry. <laughs> sorry, I don't want to get it on the one three. I want twelve or one five nine. I know I don't want a four five three because I've got the four five three from Waterloo Bridge about a million times. 159, probably an naughty driver. 159 to 26. It's basically another version of the 26. Although I will be honest, the 26 have improved. Because the last couple of times I've got on the 26 whilst on diversion, it's actually done what it's supposed to do. Um, I think uh, Liverpool's the same as well, because. Um, when I went last year, I managed to get off of a bus whilst on diversion. Oh 
Tottenham Court Road, it's not my route. I mean, I get the 139 goes to Oxford Circus, but come on. You've got to get the diverted one whilst you've got the opportunity to. And you know something, much aim is to get every single damn garage on a diversion. <laughs> So hopefully the next time um there's my bus there you better stop mate because i won't be happy yep he's stopping good driver Stupid taxi. When a bus is indicating a pull out, he's got priority. Not you. Absolute fool of a bus driver. Oh, so you're doing the middle finger now. That's on camera, mate. Dickhead. Wow. What a fool. What an absolute fool. <laughs> Idiot, man. Don't know where the hell he got his job from. Probably from fairy tale land. But there we go. I'm not expecting that from the 26th, but not bloody 15. And the fact is, there was about five people that wanted to get off at Blackfriars, failed to stop. Going to Victoria. So this could be risky. Yeah.
and there's my boss in the distance. That metro fucker right there. Time to get on this lovely metro deco. Apologies for the, for the tree. Unfortunately, next week I might have to change my commute route to London this next week with the um, Lord's Mayor show and um, and that crap. And there's the 24 hour just come off of <laughs> the driver's forgot to check his bus because there's two people up the top. And there goes the route I absolutely hate. Ah, oh, and there's my 243. Right, I might need to run. Oh, I'll catch that 59 behind one of them. driver I had the other day actually on uh, Friday but yeah there's no chance I'm getting this home not the one through one no chance because it took forever to get back on the one through one and I'm waiting for a 93 I don't know what that is oh it's a 93 of course why do you cross there mate Blooming crossing up there. Now at least you can get away with it here. Unlike America, in New York City. If you did that in America, you'd be done for. For jaywalking. And I'll be honest, jaywalking is just another lot of nonsense. I'm probably going to get attacked now for this. but I don't care. We don't have this cancelled scheme here. Why are you stopping there? Oh, because these two idiots parking on a double yellow. And there comes my bus. It's a electric, of course. Unfortunately, it is an electric. But oh well, it doesn't matter. That's a good sign off. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. I've never actually enjoyed like <laughs> this much going to fire Wimbledon. But honestly, everywhere in London. You know, I don't really get, I don't really go to anymore because places like, it's a train up there. It's like East London, I don't bother going anymore because of, uh, because of how much of a shithole it's become. So you know what? Next week, I'm going to be um, a bit of a bonus 
And you know what? I feel like doing Hertfordshire next week. Do some busted up in like Hertfordshire. So places like Luton, Watford, all that lot. Give Hertfordshire a go. See how it goes. Um, the only problem is though, the buses aren't as good as up down in London, obviously, because um, limited sound table. Some kid clearly wants to get injured doing some wheelies on a bike, if you can see him in the distance. Bloody hell, we should put him on Britain's Got Talent. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so now I'm just gonna wait for my 57. Cause I'm not getting the one for one because of the bloody roadworks that are going on at the minute. I'll be honest though, I do feel like TFL do actually sometimes take the piss with the unscheduled stops. Why is everyone not, why is there no one upstairs on that bus? Well, I know why for this one, because it's a single decker bump, obviously. But I'm talking about the 131, no one's upstairs on that one, not even at the front. So I know, normally when people get on the bus, they normally have to, they have to specifically sit up the front. That's how people usually are, but for some reason, I just saw that 131 literally fully empty at the upstairs, including the front, and the downstairs literally being packed. You know what I'm going. You know what I'd do if I was getting on that bus. I'd be getting straight up the front. You know, if an electric comes on the 131, I'll get it, but. To be honest, it's not really a flex, is it? Anyway, about uh, TFL taking a piss with um, unscheduled stops. Now we've got two 200s at once. Um, of course, no one's on that one because why should they? Because they're not bothered to get the Reigns Part 1 anymore. While this diversion's on anyway. Because the Mitchum one will take them the exact same way. He's going quicker. But yeah, about the TFL taking a piss of with unscheduled stops. Israel replacements. Because I've noticed quite a lot on TFL rail replacements is they still serve unscheduled. And the point of a rail replacement is to go from station to station. Not to stop at every single damn bus stop. And I've noticed the same thing with out of service buses as well. In fact, I've actually accidentally hailed an out of service bus and it served. And I'm like, oh my. So how, how does it even happen? Like, there we go, two of them at once. This one's probably going to stop, I can guarantee. Well, I mean, there's no one at the bus stop, so. Oh, and there's a 200 there. To mention. Jesus Christ, kid. What? I know. I don't know what that is behind. It looks like it's another 200, so that's okay. I do apologise for this annoying car alarm. We have an electric coming down as well. Don't know what it is, but okay. I don't know if it's a railway front, but probably is, but who knows? And yes, I am not doing the District Line Rail replacement to Wimbledon again because it was an absolute nightmare. Tried just trying to get home yesterday. Right, so this rail replacement is doing, coming to Range Park now, is it? And I wouldn't be surprised if it stopped because there is a station here, so fair enough. Oh, everyone's running for that 493 over there. <laughs> always forgotten to stop and someone's had a go at him I mean I wouldn't blame him because I'd do the same thing if he hadn't stopped 
with my exact words being page 32 of the bid rent book. There's a one for one up there, but I cannot be bothered to get it. I'm waiting for a 57 because it will take forever and it's right behind it, so I need to hurry up and get on because I've always been stranded here for 10 years. Oh, the front seat's available as well on that one, but who cares? There's literally no one. Oh well.